for us, anybody who shows up at the door um, will take in. Crossroads House is expecting to fill all 13 additional beds at its warming center this weekend and then some. The shelter replaces the tables in the cafeteria with beds when the temperature dips below 28 degrees. We don't want anybody to be outside if, if we can prevent it. Crossroads works closely with the other emergency warming shelter in the area in Summersworth. Right now in the last week, we've been averaging around 50 people a night. The Willand Emergency Shelter has a max capacity of 80 people, and they're considering speaking with the county to expand that for this weekend. With the cold coming, we have no intention of turning people away. The shelter is a low barrier shelter, which alters the traditional rules and regulations you would see at a full time shelter. For example, they ask fewer questions and allow those seeking a warm place for the night to keep their personal possessions with them at their bunks. We look at it as just partnering with with the folks that we're serving and making sure we keep them alive. Those who come to the shelter receive dinner and breakfast and are offered additional resources in the community during the day if they want them. But officials are concerned about the population living outdoors that don't seek help, especially when the weather drops as low as it's expected to. We don't really know how many people are out there and what their needs are. Now, both shelters have their warming shelter um, activated now through Saturday. We're live in Portsmouth, Kelly O'Brien, WMUR News 9.